okay so uh, now let me start with the session so if you know the manual today's session is about there are two things that i am going to cover one is the first one is odd one out now what do we do in odd one out so in odd one out what we will do is there would be few alphabets there would be few numbers it can be categorized into several parts so it can be about numbers i'll explain everything please focus it can be about alphabets it can be about alpha numero i mean mixture of alphabets and numbers it can be about words it can be about certain objects and objects when i am talk talking it is both living and non living it can be about certain patterns so patterns when i am talking about patterns can be symbols patterns can be any geometrical pattern and likewise so what i am trying to say over here is that if i have any particular number series or i have any particular uh, alphabet series or alpha numeric series there would be four or suppose i have four options or i have five options so here three options would be similar here it will be four and one option would be out of the category like for that matter i talk about cow ox buffalo chicken and tell you which of the following is odd one out so what should be your answer your answer should be what should be your answer can you type it what should be the answer okay so here what i can see is here the answer would be chicken why because most of you have given this answer chicken why because they all have four legs here it has two legs or one particular logic will be they all come from same kind of uh, uh, same type of animals and chicken is a bird this is not an animal so you can say anything possible over here so similarly i'll keep on giving you few few uh, questions just focus on on this so let me just take you to one sheet which is okay so before that i am writing few few odd words just just focus on this the odd word is find the odd word here which is father second option is mother third option is brother fourth option is friends fifth option is sister so you have to find out odd word here which one would be the odd word yes so friend is a right answer because father mother brother and sister they are all blood relationships friend is not a blood relationship hence the answer would be friend over here let me go to the other option and this one is a little bit of find the odd word option a is water option b is jelly option c is lemonade option d is milk and option e is coffee find the odd word here yes so most of you are giving me answer jelly jelly is the right answer why jelly is the right answer because water lemonade milk and coffee are liquids 
but jelly is not liquid is you can call it uh, uh, semi solid or something like that so the third one is let me just remove it for you the third one is pear b is apple c is guava d is lychee and e is orange find the odd word here a lot of people are giving me answer lychee lychee is a wrong answer lychee is a wrong answer think again on this question it's not about circular or 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 cylindrical it's not about shape those who are giving me answer orange explain why orange explain why orange why orange it's not about pieces only lychee is sorry only orange is a citrus food here fruit here our orange is the right answer now let me give you another question find the odd, odd one out these are the names of cities kanpur allahabad varanasi and mathura find the odd one out here don't just give answers all are religious places there is no place which is not religious you don't categorize places on the basis of religious not religious i am saying you don't categorize places on the basis of religious and non religious every city has few temples few mosques few churches kanpur has major river flowing by its side so uh, as you have told arjun as you have told um, the the relation is with river yes the relation is with river allahabad is in up all four four of them are in up all four cities are very famous kanpur has major river flowing by this okay this is this question is related to geography and what is that yes vanessa that is that is right vanisha that is right i'm sorry uh, vanisha that is right only mathura is a city where ganga does not pass by kanpur allahabad and varanasi are located on the banks of river ganga mathura is not located on banks of river ganga that's the that's the relation here hence odd one out would be mathura don't categorize cities on the behalf of religious non religious city you cannot religious is a very subjective term next one is dagger hammer knife sword and blade what's the answer yes hammer is the right answer because hammer is uh used to knock something while knife sword blade and dagger is used to cut something it has something sharp dagger knife sword and blade contain something very sharp to cut something hammer is to knock something the odd one out is hammer okay next one is oyster clam
gallop and missile. Find it out. Oyster is a wrong wrong answer. It's related to biology. Don't get into pearls and all. It's related to biology. Oyster is a wrong answer. Those who are giving answer, Michelle, tell me why Michelle is the answer. Why Michelle is the answer? Michelle is also wrong answer. No, that's wrong answer. That's wrong answer. The answer over here is scallop. Yes. Somia, why scallops? Why? Why that's the answer? People who are writing scallops, why that is the answer? Explain. Yes. So answer is right with Somia has given. They don't stay in shells. All others stay in cells. So oyster clam and missile is from bivalve family of organism what is bivalve family bivalve family first one it does not have head and they stay in shells some or the other kind of shells only scallop it doesn't stay in cells so no cells here so that's why this is a odd one out so now let me write the next answer question sparrow swan parrot and quail okay why swan yes Swan is the only word which stays in water. Other, other, all other are non-water, non-water uh, birds. So swan is a right answer. It's a yes, yes. I understood. It's the only water bird, or aquatic in nature. Next one is anger. platform dock park bus stand few people are saying park few people are saying hunger platform is a right wrong answer Okay, let me let me see what you guys are answering. Hunger is a wrong answer. If you look at hunger platform, dock, bus stand, all these four places are some or the other transport medium. Hunger is used to park aeroplanes. Platform is used to park trains. Dock is for ships, and bus stand is for bus. So park is the only place which is not used for any transport medium. Hence, the answer over here is park. So odd one out over here is park. Next one. <coughs> Please write tulip. Rose. Bud. and daisy what's the answer yes bud is the right answer because all others are flower bud is the only non flower object over here next one polar bear reindeer Yak, silver fox, and leopard. So, as you all are saying, leopard, leopard is the right answer here because all these four are found in polar regions. 
so they are animals found in polar regions so answer over here is leopard okay now let me take you to the sheet which i have selected for you so start solving the questions here is the screen clear to all of you okay first one is sharp why it is sharp because all other are tall huge thin small these four are related to dimension only sharp is not related to dimension hence the answer over here would be uh, sharp now let me move to the second question so what is the what is the answer of second question so the answer for the second question is what is the answer for the second question the second question is chicken snake swan crocodile frog the answer over here is chicken because all other stay all other can stay in in water so all other are aquatic animals this is not aquatic animal so hence the answer is chicken the third answer can you find it out few people are saying whale few people are saying eagle try to understand cap turban helmet and hat all four cover the head only this veil covers the face hence the answer would be face here sorry veil here what's the answer for question number 4 question number 4 what's the answer eagle is the right answer why because all eagle can fly none of them can fly all others cannot fly only eagle can fly hence eagle is the right answer question number 5 question 5 is very easy rigveda yajurveda atharveda and samveda are name of the four prominent vedas of hindu mythology ayurveda is not related to written scriptures ayurveda is practiced so hence the answer is ayurveda over here curd butter cream cheese all are dairy products oil is not a dairy product hence answer is oil so question number 6 the answer is oil okay what's the answer those who are saying entrepreneur is is wrong please give answer of the question which has been discussed if question number 7 is being discussed don't give answer of question number 9 because the people who are giving answer to question number 9 i can find their names they are not they have not given answer of question number 7 and 8 so don't give answer of those questions which are not asked i am just discussing question number 7 producer investor financer entrepreneurs they all are related to investing money somewhere they spend money producer investor financer and entrepreneurs they always spend money somewhere here or the other director is the person who directs who does not spend money he is someone related to creativity so director over here is the right answer for question number 7 question number 8 what's the answer now i am discussing question number 8 why trifle those who are giving this answer why explain why any one of you yes in all other uh, <clears throat> except trifle in all other options try in something related to three trifle is a dessert it's something to eat so it's a sweet dessert you can uh, it's 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 edible or in all other cases that the try in something related to number three now let's go to question number 9 what's the answer for question number 9 question number 9 the answer is calendar year date month and day all are part of calendar so they are related calendar is the odd one out here question number 
10 what's the answer why mysore yes somebody wrote here mysore doesn't have port that's the right answer so whether it is mumbai cochin or visakhapatnam they are all coastal areas and there is there are ports located over there mysore is the only non coastal area over there hence no port in mysore hence the answer is mysore now let's go to question number 11 yes question number 11 groundnut is the answer and somebody has written rest are spices that is also correct so cumin cinnamon paper clove all are spices except groundnut so answer is groundnut question number 12 what's the answer chocolate is not not in liquid form chocolate is also solid depending on the temperature somebody has written all others are baked items that is that is correct so whether it is biscuit whether it is cake bread or pastry why do we call it bakery because they all are baked products so except chocolate all others are baked product hence chocolate would be the odd answer here so option is b question number 13 so question number uh, 13 the answer is e stain why stain because sweep wipe scrub wash all these four methods are used for cleaning something for clearing something so sweeping wiping scrubbing washing are methods of cleaning stain is not a method of cleaning stain means something i mean which has to be cleaned so option over here is stain now let's go to option 14 what's the answer why trousers give me an option uh, sorry give me an explanation why trousers in question number 14 yes that's that's right trousers are worn on the lower part of the body coat shirt vest and sweaters are more on upper part of the body so that's why trouser is a right answer here question number 15 is easy here the answer would be argentina because asia Af africa australia and antarctica all are continents Argentina is a country. Now let's go to question number sixteen. Let me check what answer you have given. Question number sixteen. Moon is the right answer because all others are planet. Question number seventeen. Question number seventeen. Most of you are giving me answer. Gloomy. Gloomy is the right answer because all others are words to express happiness. whether it is happy lively cheerful acastic everything is used to express happiness gloomy is the only word which is related to sadness so answer is gloomy here question number 18 yes cone is a right answer here because cone is the only 3d figure over here all others are 2d figures so whether it is circle triangle rectangular rectangle square all other are 2d figures but cone is the only 3d figure that is why answer here would be cone now let's go to question number 19 correct question number 19 answer is mercury because it is liquid at room temperature let's go to question number 20 question number 20 i am getting two answers bird and radar those giving these two answers please let me know why are you giving these two answers so for radar i am getting one explanation that radar is the only object over object given here which 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 is not a flying object which cannot fly by itself which sorry which cannot fly answer is radar only here because all others are flying objects kite bird jet rocket radar is 
not something which flies. So that's the answer here. Question 21. Yes, palm is a right answer. Palm does not have any joints. So answer in question 21 would be option E, palm. Question 22. Diver would be the right answer because diver is a profession under the water. So doctor, teacher, engineer, carpenter would not be right here. So diver looks out to be most appropriate answer here. Question 23. Squash is a wrong answer. Squash cannot be the answer here. Polo is the right answer because polo is the only sports which is outdoor here. All other chess, ludo, squash, cards are indoor sports. Solve question 24. I am getting so many answers here. Yes, June is the right answer. Those who are saying that June is the only month which has 30 days here is right. So that's the correct answer. Okay, chalo. Answer is June here. So I hope we practiced this part of very properly. Now let me go to the symbols. Before I go to the symbols, let me explain how it happens. So in figures, what happens is, so uh, what do you look if, if, if a figure is given over here, you look at following characteristics. You look at shape, you look at size, you look at pattern, structure, what is origin of it, you look at order, you look at species, grade, style, constituents, all these things and if you look at all these things answer can be found out like what happens in this kind of case is four to five figures would be formed in 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 one by one fashion and these kind of separations would be made so i'm making a circle here i'm making a line here i'm making another line here i'm making another line here i'm making another line here i'm this is option A, this is B, this is C, this is D and this is E. You have to tell me out of these five figures, which one is odd one out. So what's your answer? Everyone is saying A, A is a right answer. Why? Because this is, this is a circle. All other is a straight line. Now let me make a figure. So this is star now this is option a this is b this is c this is d this is e now let me know which among the following is is the answer one particular change i do here then then give me answer somebody is saying a somebody is saying d somebody is saying c Shitis is saying D, 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 D. In B, those who are saying in B, there is not, there are non-repeating things. In B, this circle is repeating. D is a wrong answer. Look at here, in, in, in op option C is right here. Because in all other options, only one particular thing is repeating. Like here, this is repeating. In B, this circle is repeating. In D, S is repeating and nothing else is repeating. In E, this equal to sign is repeating. In C, this cross is also repeating and this circle is also repeating. So option would be C because there are two elements which are repeating each other, uh, repeating itself. So hence, option C would be the odd one out here. Let me draw one or two more diagrams here. And these diagrams are what is the answer? Yes, E is the right answer here. Last one is the right answer because two different figures are used. Okay, so you are understanding these things. Now let me go to the practice sheet. Solve the first question. 
solve the first questions okay first question option e is right why because here there are two kind of sticks here one is hollow and one is colored here two colored and one hollow here three colored and two hollow here four colored and three hollow here two colored and one hollow here three colored and three hollow it means that number of two kinds of sticks over here are same and in all other number of sticks of the two different kinds are not same hence the answer would be e here now let's go to option 2 most of the answers which i am getting for question number 2 is option a option a is a right answer why because in all other figures there is one particular element which is open only in option a there are all figures which are closed whether it is a triangle whether it is a rhombus whether it is a hexagon pentagon they are all closed figures in option b c d e there is one figure which is open that's why the answer would be a here go to question 3 what's the answer 3d is the right wrong answer 3c people are writing 3c why 3c explain can somebody explain me yes nikhil has given me the right answer in in option c you look at here in option c in option a this arrow is towards the left of this dot here also the arrow is towards the left of the dot here also the arrow is towards the left of the dot here also but here the arrow is towards the right of the dot hence the option would be option c tanishka gave me the right answer sorry question 4 we will solve question 4 solve question 4 why b a lot of people have given me answer b why b explain b is the right answer b is the right answer why b can someone explain yes tanishka has given given the right option that bottom ends are not towards each other that's the look at here here everywhere bottom ends are towards each other only in b bottom ends are not towards each other hence the option would be b question number 5 question number 5 most of you are saying a a is a right answer why because you look at here in in all other options here there is a circle so here is a shaded circle here there is a pentagon so here there is a shaded pentagon similar shapes have been shaded in inside the given figures here there is a square but a rectangle has been painted here hence option a is right answer question number 6 question number 6 most of you are saying a yes a is the right answer because you can you can look at it and you can see that whatever has been cut over here that has been painted on the other side here there is no such region the portion which has been cut that itself has been painted so option a is right answer question 7 question 
question seven a lot of yes i got the answer in question seven it would be option d because the shredded portions are on the same side of the line here they are on opposite side in all other figures they are on opposite side only in question 7d the shredded po shredded portions are facing or shredded portions are on the same side of the line joining them so that's the answer go to question 8 why 8b why b explain how do you find out angle angle is not a criteria then it's got difference of one gap between which two figures more tilted is also vanisha what is not opposite to shaded area you look at this shaded portion and this lined portion they are not adjacent there is a line in between here also shaded portion and lined portion there is a line in between so this cannot be answered this cannot be answered shaded portion and lined portion there is a line in between this cannot be answered Again, shaded portion and lined portion, there is a line in between. In only this figure, shaded portion and the lined portion are adjacent to each other. Hence, eight, eighth answer is option B. This brings me to the end of this particular topic. Now, let's go to another sheet and this is about finding missing numbers now when I talk about finding missing numbers so let me explain you this particular topic this is this depends on only mathematical skills so what will happen few numbers would be added subtracted multiplied or uh, divided square cube whatever we discussed in the last time so those patterns you have to see if you look at those patterns you will find out the pattern over there let me give you let me start with a question so it is something like this look at here this is 16 this is 17 13 22 this is 68 second one is 32 5 49 81 and this is 167 so looking at these two patterns you have to find out this value which is 25 11 50 34 and you have to find out what I should fill in here give me the answer without what is it if you look at 68 you add all the numbers you add this how much you get you get 29 you add this how much you get 39 39 plus 29 is 68 then you add this how much you get 81 then you add this how much you get 86 you add this you get 167 it means that whatever numbers are written addition of that has been written in the circle so i'll add this this will give me 75 and i add this this will give me 45 now 75 plus 45 gives me 120 so i'll write 120 here now let me go to another question so let me make this for you so this is four two three six this is six three four eight this is eighteen two 
this you have to find and this is 27 what's the answer how 3 explain me explain me how it is 3 can someone explain me how it is 3 2 into 9 is Anchita is telling me 2 into 9 is 18 3 into 9 is 27 now that can be one one option but it can be done like that or it can be like this 4 into 3 divided by 2 is 6 so here it would be 18 into 3 divided by 2 is 27 so that's how you can write this is 3 so anything you can write 9 into 2 is 18 and 9 into 3 is 27 that is also correct so anything you can you can do like that now let me go to another particular question and this question is like this in center i have 234 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 then in center i have 624 this is 8 this is 5 this is 9 this is 7 this is 6 this is 4 so in center what will you fill if 3 4 8 5 2 and 7 is there let's solve it What's the answer? Few people are giving me answer 164. I'll just wait for other answers. Okay, a lot of people are giving, not a lot, 5-6 people have given me answer 164. I'm waiting for other answers. Okay, not not more than that. Whatever numbers are above, if this is the midpoint, numbers ever it uh, above it are two three four. Multiply two three four. What do you get? You get twenty four on this side. You multiply numbers lower than this. You got you get five into six into seven, which is thirteen into seven is equal to two hundred and ten. You add both these numbers 20, 24 plus two hundred and ten. You get two thirty four. Again, you multiply numbers here, you get 6 into 5 into 4 is, is, is 120. And you get multiply numbers 9 into 8 into 7, which is 72 into 7, which gives you number 504. You add 504 and 120, you get 624. So what I will do to find out this middle number, I will multiply these numbers. This gives me 7 into 3 into 4, which is 21 into 4 is 84. And this gives me 2 into 5 into 8, which is 10 into 8 is 80. Now, I, if I add numbers 84 plus 80, I get 164. That's my answer over here. Okay, now let me go to another question. The question is It's something like this. Just look at here. 
and it's a good question it's taking a bit of time for me to make this but you will enjoy this question something like this so now let me go here and let me write the numbers this is four three seven five four eight five ten and this is forty nine and this is fourteen this is twenty two you have to find this number this is 144 and this is 225 was the answer Now 144 is a right answer here. You look at here, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 square, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 square is 49. 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 square is 144. Now you look at here, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 square is 225. So here it is 8 plus 4, 12, 12 square over here would be 144. So answer is 144. Now let me just give you another question and this question is all about triangles. So let me draw three triangles. And the numbers given over here are, this is six, four, 327 this is 5 3 no one second just give me a moment this is 5 2 3 which is 13 this is 4 6 3 what would be the answer here? Okay, and answer over here is you multiply these two and then add the number at the base. So 6 into 4 plus 3 is 27, 5 into 2 plus 3 is 13. So 4 into 3 plus 6 would be 18. Answer here is 18. So that's not a difficult question. Most of you have given me the answer. All of you have given me the right answer. Now, before I go to the sheet, I would like to solve one more question. Um, this is something like this. Three C is a wrong answer. Yes, Pravalika, how 5C? 5C is a right, right answer here. 4 plus 5 is 9 coming here. 6 plus 2 is 8 coming here. So here 3 plus 2 would be 5 and it would be C. So it would be 5C, nothing else. Add both of them. So it will be 5C. Now once we are done with this, let me move to the questions. And the question is in front of you. Solve the questions here. Solve the first question. What's the answer? Most of you are giving me answer 981. I don't know how you are giving me answer 981. Can someone explain? Okay, let me check if someone can explain. Okay. 
981 is a right answer so don't try for anything else look at here 6 square is equal to 36 and 3 square is equal to 9 so it has been written as 369 2 square is 4 5 square is 25 it has been written 425 so i'll find out 3 square which is 9 and 9 square which is 81 so hit this answer would be 981 nothing else so answer is 981 here now let me go to another question solve question number two what's the answer people are saying 81 a lot of people are saying 81 so four square is 16 no two square three square four square five square six square 7 square 8 square so it will be 9 square 81 that's absolutely fine now let me move to question uh, 3 just look at question 3 and try solving it what's the answer here yes 14 is the right answer some of the two numbers written at the top Divided by 2 gives me the right answer. 7 plus 5, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 5 plus 21, 26 divided by 2 is 13. So 24 plus 2, 28 divided by 2 would be option, uh, would be 14, option D. Solve question 4. What's the answer? A lot of people have given me answer 184. Let me check. So this question is best on. the option of getting uh, 16 square minus 7 square which is equal to 256 minus 49 which is equal to 207 so something on the right square minus number on the left square uh, will give you the answer here at the bottom so 12 square minus 80 square is equal to 80 so 25 square minus 21 square is 625 minus 441 so I have 49 here and then 59 here and then 25 on the other side. I get 184 as my answer. Solve question number five. What are you giving me as answer? A lot of people are giving me answer six. Okay, let others give me the answer. Okay, so answer over here is 6 only, 14 minus 5 is 9, 12 minus 5 is 7, 10 minus 5 is 5, 16 minus 5 is 11. So 9 minus 5 is 4, 7 minus 5 is 2. Here, 5 minus 5 is 0, so it means that the next column is, for, I mean, previous column minus 5. So 11 minus 5 would be how much? It would be 6. So both A and B is answered. Two options given over here as um six so both are your option question number six a very straightforward question it is 13 17 into 13 is 13 into 17 is 221 12 into 19 is 228 so 13 into 18 would be 234 as simple as that so that's not a question we should be worrying about question number seven got it answer is 234 solve question number seven yes 26 is the right answer so two square plus four square is 20 three square plus nine square is 90 one square plus five square will be 26 so that's the right answer solve question number eight after that we'll wrap up the session yes 41 is absolutely the right answer because five into three plus four is 19 7 into 5 35 plus so here 6 into 4 24 plus 5 is 29 it means that i am multiplying numbers on the um, two sides of the triangle and adding the number on the base 7 into 5 is 35 35 plus 6 is 41 so that's the answer 
so i hope you understood everything i hope you understood everything which i have taught you today i have, i will i will be sending this to you in a day or two so that's what from me uh, for today and uh, i hope you all have got uh, tmh books whatever topic i am solving please solve a lot of questions from please solve a lot of questions from the reference book which i have uh, suggested to you uh, per week solving 30 40 50 questions from one topic so like 50 60 odd 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 number questions and 40 50 number finding questions or or finding missing number questions this week would help your cause so uh, that's it from my side today if you have any doubt do let me know uh, uh, send your uh, queries to me uh, i'll help you out so and if uh, if if what happens sometimes you send me the uh, doubt and i look at it and then i forget uh, because i'm i'm in the middle of something and 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 that's why i'm unable to answer it it's not intentionally so if i'm not sending you the answer in a day or a two please remind me again so that i can i can solve it and send it back to you so thank you so much for joining the session and uh, i hope you'll keep on solving questions on mat i hope i also hope that you are solving it daily as i suggested you last time uh, so with this i wrap up the session for today thank you so much thanks